actually not what not we we'll just stop at nifty bank nifty and usd enough uh, interesting day today uh, actually very tradable day uh, market was very uh, you know steady predictable once the levels were broken it was pretty easy to pile on to that trade uh, so let's uh, get the unimportant thing out which is my camera and we'll get the important thing in which is the excel sheet and let's go look at the sorry about the delay nsc files were the fi data derivatives data, everything was delayed we just got the update like 20 minutes back so bummer big bummer there uh, i don't see anybody live so but then i'm guess go on and guess that there's somebody live yes 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 hi he did hi thanks for letting me know that this thing is live but i think the stream is a little bit slow i can see that my internet is not top of the speed so without further ado let's go right into calagram market so yesterday we talked about this right yesterday we were saying that uh this early channel is broken the only thing which was telling that maybe there was no downside or, or the only reason for doubt is harami right but then we also said that a harami requires a close above as confirmation so it is already invalidated and i mean we didn't give much weightage to harami to be honest because i think our yesterday's uh bias was clearly bearish the thing we said that uh, this is below the channel and top of the channel can become a resistance the bottom of the channel here can be a resistance market went and tested till that level which also confluenced with the 100 dma and then it went down in the previous session today it opened tried to go up a little bit but as soon as the 50 dma was broken we all knew what was about to come so uh, uh, ajay is uh, saying he made good profit today captured 600 points my man you captured 600 points i'm so happy for you 600 points a lot of uh, money congratulations it's all yours well deserved well done uh, <clears throat> uh so nifty so now the question is pretty so and we talked about this also right the rejection wick of this earlier candle is now invalidated and it has closed below market this is a market which you can confidently short this is not a market uh, uh which we can go right now i would say the market has a downside all the way to probably 16700 levels which is the confluence of this you know good old channel. in fact let me just yeah yeah this looks more like right so if i connect this top with this top the uh, uh, you know like this somewhere around here this channel and 200 dma will intersect so i would as market support somewhere in the 16800 ish zone right so i i think there's another 400 points of correction left in nifty um so so a potential uh, uh 400 point downside left uh, so let me also write it big red candle maybe 16800 16800 seems like a level 16800 seems the first support right this is the view on the chart now let's look at option chain right option chain is actually kind of mixed signals because uh, overall right I sold calls today nobody sold puts today but look at this option chain there is some sort of support at 17000 calls obviously outweighing by large numbers but pcr is 0.4 which is the lowest pcr we have ever seen in the last 2 3 months at least and i suspect this is thoda hinting towards oversold territory but i mean overall the bias is bearish because there is 95 million calls and 4 million puts so definitely the bias is bearish on both option chain and pcr it's just that it's almost oversold so just a just a caution maybe it will bounce back maybe it will bounce back and go back who knows but it's definitely not a long market it is definitely a short market um uh, and uh, option chain is also saying the same story now let's look at fi option data this is where things become really interesting the gap between the red and green has widened today which means the market has become more bearish uh, 13000 calls sold 26000 puts sold net net bearish open i mean bearishness has increased by 40k quantities and 1000 crores uh, index futures sold 1300 crore 1100 crore stock sold 1300 crore dia even sold so my my worry is this right Uh, FI sold futures, FI sold stock, even DII sold stock, which means today's twenty three hundred odd crore sell is uh, by retail, and that that story doesn't usually end well. So everything is pointing towards significantly more correction in the market. I mean, this was something which kind of could see coming from eighteen five hundred, but it's just that it took a 
you know roller coaster ride before eventually coming to these levels so my verdict is it is uh, downside left all the way to 200 dma which is uh, 1600 800 odd levels but you have to time your entry otherwise uh, you can market can be volatile and you can get chopped on both sides of stop loss so my trades are fairly simple short futures sell call do bear spreads any of these things work if you are disciplined about it wait for a negative price action on an uptick and sell into it right don't go short at any level you find because um, it can bounce back and create your stop loss now uh, let's go to bank nifty bank nifty we talked about yesterday this was also pretty clear so we said that bank nifty had a harami and harami was confirmed and after you confirm a harami you obviously get a negative candle this line we drew which connected this this and this has been invalidated bank nifty is taking some kind of a support near 200 dma you have to watch this level why because this is an important level because there is a rejection wick of this dragonfly doji also here so i would expect bank nifty to not break this level immediately but if this level breaks then we can see significantly more uh, downside in bank nifty now let me do one more thing let's draw this trend line connecting yeah bank nifty can have a little bit more downside for sure right but the catches i mean i don't think this 100 ema is going to act as any kind of support but i mean it is it always helps us to be aware of what kind of supports and resistances lie this trend line i won't confirm simply because i'm just connecting two points it's not three makes a trend line two doesn't make any kind of a trend line so let me just remove this thing but it's good to know again what exists here so maybe we'll see a downside all the way up to this level which is 37000 now which is the confluence of the middle of this channel and this uh, 50 dma right but bank nifty is also looking uh, bearish any call above this level of 39000 is practically a uh, safe bets to take right i mean there's nothing safe in option trading but you know uh, looking at this uh, channel bank nifty looks like it has lost some steam right of if it consolidates here and goes up it can be the breakout of a channel but then it doesn't look like what is going to play out right now let's also look at the weekly chart of bank nifty yep it looks like that it's kind of difficult for it to go up at this stage so that is bank nifty usd inr was obviously on a holiday today uh, so no comments there because you know uh, maharashtra had declared a, a holiday on uh, lataji's uh, demise so uh, i don't i think it was that holiday so there is no uh, uh, this thing today so let me let me quickly quickly see uh, what use so this leaves us with a lot of time because we are just at 8 minutes this means we have a lot of user emails to cover so let me just go through all the user emails we can talk about um so okay let's start with dr frings dr strange's analysis dr strange is spotting a, i don't know what is dr strange's name dr strange mails me every day dr strange if you can please tell me dr rish i'm guessing he is rishab or rishi or you know thank you whoever you are but next time please tell <laughs> let us know your name so uh this is a head and shoulder formation according to him and he is saying that there's a downside all the way up to 1600 which is also what we roughly expect now let us see who else has sent us charts uh bushan has sent us asian paints chart and bushan's logic is that oh you can also see this so asian paints is in an early channel and bushan's logic is that the early channel has broken so if you guys are tracking asian chain asian paint the heads up is that there is an early cha- channel on the formation uh now let's see who else is uh, sending us more stuff there is sale say somebody had sent me sale let me look at sale yeah siddesh had sent me sale weekly chart Oh, this is a little bit tricky. So let's look at sale from Siddharth Siddesh ka charts. And we'll also look at Hitesh ka chart. Okay, this is very interesting. 
this is daily chart of sale right and let i think there is a channel forming here yeah looks like that uh, not not like a very perfect channel either but in case you you know watching this now sale is forming some kind of a channel system here it looks like a very weak trend on i mean a metal stock going into a downtrend is obviously very alarming because it's the first sign of an economic downturn let's see who, who else has so let me see who else has sent hiren has sent some charts i'll search for hiren abdul is saying aap bar bar harami mat bolo nifty naraaz ho jayega <laughs> yeah so nilesh is saying there is a head and shoulder uh, and let's see what else are the user comments siddesh we have covered sale weekly charts let's also look at siddesh ka sale weekly chart siddesh it looks like siddesh is very young by the way siddesh i think is still in college but he is uh, you know epic in trading uh, you know when i i i took me almost 25 years of age to start trading but kids these days are trading at 18 17 it's it's great actually so yeah it this is his weekly chart siddesh i hope i have drawn your chart correctly connecting all the you know tops and bottoms so siddesh also did this chart i mean this is interesting why is this ah okay 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 so to see siddesh ka chart you have to throw zoom out in a different time frame but you know if you zoom out and you will roughly see this chart right so i think what he means to say is interesting mm mm-hmm. let me just look at that actually this is a very interesting chart siddesh so let me just connect your chart in a slightly bigger channel so you are basically asking to connect this with this and do this right this also a very legit so in case you are forming trading sale you can see two parallel channel systems in formation somewhere over here so basically there is a channel top coming somewhere over here at 87 odd levels is what siddesh is saying right now finally let me just search who else has <laughs> sumit is saying please don't short <coughs> Uh, metal charts. Let's see as USD and our cup pattern in monthly. Let me see what else is there. Okay, so but you know broadly, right? Since most of us trade Nifty, I want to spend some more time in Nifty. You know this, all the single stocks apart. The important thing is this, right? <clears throat> this is Nifty on a week daily time frame, right? in a daily time you can see all the channel systems here and the important thing is that this broad channels bottom is somewhere around 16000 right this broad channels uh, this inner channels top and eight the 200 dma are somewhere around uh, 7 uh, 16 800 odd levels right um, these are levels which you have to really watch out for so please don't short at 16 800 unless you get a price action please don't go long anywhere before that because it can test all the way to 16800 even at 16800 please do not long thinking that there will be a bounce from 200 dma there can be a small bounce but that can be a trap and it can fall down again now the overarching story of nifty is this right so i'm not going to say that fi is always going to be right because fi has been consistently wrong during demonetization but if you look at the last one odd month right fi has only sold in the last one odd month now if you look at <coughs> monthly right of fis so this is where everything becomes scary for me in april 2021 fis sold net 12000 crores in may 2021 fis sold net 6000 crores in june they were neutral in july they sold 25000 crores in august they sold net 2500 crores in september they 
they sold bought 1000 crores august they sold 25000 crores in november they sold 30 40000 crores this is 35000 crores and in january we already sold uh, 41000 crores and as of today in february we have sold almost uh, you know 5000 5,000 odd crores, right? The theme in general is that foreign institutional investors are dumping Indian stocks like there's no tomorrow. Nifty system chart-wise looks like it can go all the way to probably a 16,000. If you look at weekly chart of Nifty, the hope which we had about that Harami, that has gotten invalidated already, unless of course this week gives a positive closing. And in monthly time frame, Nifty has... Formed an early doji, but the catch is if this month closes below today's close, or you know, if this month closes down, right, then by the end of this month, we'll have a bearish engulfing candle. So, what you have to note early on is that if this month continues to be negative, then this small doji will be engulfed completely by this big red candle. I mean, I can't show it in scale because this thing doesn't scale well, but you get what I mean, right? because there's a tiny red candle here and there's a red candle already engulfing that so largely right this is not a time where you invest for long term this is not a term time when you can go long index or go down stocks i mean the catch is this right if index is going to be negative then single stocks are not going to be positive because it's it's like this right the index is a river all the stocks are just boats it can't be that river is flowing in one direction and boats are flowing in another direction yes even in the most bearish of markets you will find three four stocks which outperform but your odds in a bear market is to either short the index or find weak stocks within the index and short them but please do not go selectively long on stocks now because if the index cracks <coughs> everything can crack uh, right so largely our uh, our um, uh, you know um, uh, plot is that we are careful and cautious on nifty uh, and it looks like <clears throat> everything is right now pointing towards the scenario where risk will come back to the system it might look like it is stay short or no long for sure right and see we don't have to predict what will happen at 16800 right when it comes we'll see based on price action at this point whether it will go up or down so that's <clears throat> you know um, so tomorrow we'll cover uh, Reliance, because Sagar is saying there's an inverted cup and handle pattern forming. Uh, we'll cover HDFC and many banks which are also showing inverted cup and handle patterns. So Sagar, if you can help you the charts, I'll also try to do my own charts and we'll tomorrow cover, we'll tomorrow for sure cover all these banks which Sagar is saying is negative cup and handle pattern and <coughs> uh, Reliance. It, basically, it seems like a lot of heavyweights in index are going to go through some pain. So that's our analysis for today. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for joining. As usual, this is not this is not uh, tips or uh, 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 any of that. Ankit will do SBI Live tomorrow for sure. I did not do it today, and you know I don't want to do an analysis on this program because su suddenly I can be wrong. I want to give it enough time. Uh, so uh, as usual, thanks again, guys, for joining. We'll see you again tomorrow. I hope you uh, uh, have a great expiry and a great week in the days to come. Bharat, if you have any feedback on that uh, social, please mail me on, you know, my email address. So <clears throat> we will uh, see you again tomorrow as usual. Please keep your capital safe, guys. And good night and take care and bye. See you.